Jolie for seconds out with the co-main event of the evening, which is going to be showing after the main event, live on Channel 5 from 10pm, with Isaac Chamberlain to my right and Matt Sen to my left. First of all, I want to ask you how's sort of isolation been, because I know as fighters, you need to stay isolated and in your own head at times, but do you overthink and have you found yourself overthinking? I'll start with you, Matt, because as fighters, like I say, you need to be isolated, but do you often feel like it's been a case of too much time to yourself and nothing to do at times? Do you know what? This has been no different to my, my, my usual life, to be honest. And I live such a busy, high-paced life that this this being able to take a step back has, has been quite, quite comfortable for me. And I've, I've really enjoyed it. I've had, I've had nothing but sleep and relax and take some time out and watch TV. I don't <laughs> usually get to do that, so I've, I've quite enjoyed it. And how about you, Isaac? Um, it's nothing that's been new to me, simply because of... Uh, you know, the times I've spent training in Miami, the times I've spent, you know, working with um, Jorge and all the champions, sparring with all the champions, and I was a lot, I was isolated a lot by myself because I didn't really know anyone out in Miami. So um, that and coming with lockdown and everything as well, you know, it's, it's kind of been a bit normal. I think it's a great um, experience to, how can I say, get in tune with yourself, mm -hmm. you know, to really find yourself and really know um, what you want out of life and that's mm -hmm. what I've just been thinking a lot about that as well and yeah, yeah man it's been alright good 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 now I know you've spoken to Matt the Slugger before and you've been in contact with him before what's that been like and how did you come across each other before this I um, messaged you innit I think so yeah um, I messaged you yeah. about um, sparring opportunities yeah. um, a long time ago you know he's a very good fighter you know I've watched clips on him before and um Look, this is how boxing works. Now we're mm -hmm. beating each other in the ring tomorrow. Yeah. So it's a blessing, you know, to even be here, promote um, fighting tomorrow because mm -hmm. of, you know, I've been out of the ring for a long time. Mm -hmm. So I'm just so, so grateful to even be stepping back into the ring. Mm -hmm. You know, I have to give all thanks to Mick, man. I <laughs> love you, man. Trust yeah. me. <laughs> you know, I've just always, I'm always very, very thankful for mm -hmm. the opportunities that's been given to me. And um, I'm never going to let it slide. Mm -hmm. And I know you're technically still on the comeback trial, but... Given that the ring rust was fully sort of taken away two weeks ago, do you think it caused you a bit of a problem? Do you think it might cause Matt a problem because he's been out of the ring for a year, or, or is it not no, like? I think everything, that? everything depends on your mentality. Mm -hmm. You know, everything depends on how you address the situation. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to take every fight very, very seriously. You know, um, you have to see. Uh, how can I say? You just have to visualize what's in front of you and how to. Um, deal with the situation. Mm -hmm. And do you think it will be a problem being as that you've been out of the ring for a year and he fought two weeks ago? Do you know what? Every every fight is different. You know, every opportunity is different. I'm just a believer in fate and I'm a believer that you take an opportunity that are given. You know, when God knocks the door, you answer the door. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I don't believe it's going to be an issue for me at all. Mm -hmm. And on your Instagram the other day, you put I might be the underdog, but the dog's still dangerous. I really like that. What do you think is going to be dangerous about you on Saturday night? What? I guess it's Saturday. Yeah. Do you think it's going to go the full eight rounds or is it going to be closed before the distance? This, this, um, you can only check from the first round. You know, you can only see from the first round. You have to assess the situation in the first round. You have to be very, very calculated, mm -hmm. very smart, and, and see what happens there. Mm -hmm. And then I'll find out. Yeah, and, and how do you think fighting two weeks ago, how did that, did you have a switch in mentality, like a couple of days rest, or was it straight back, mm -hmm. straight back in training, no was, time off? It was straight back in training from Monday, mm -hmm. you know, obviously there's the buzz of the fight and everybody's stopping you and everything is just like, whoa, crazy, mm -hmm. you're back in the limelight again. But I just believe, um, you know, God has a very, very big purpose for me in my life and I have to just utilise it as much as I can because from where I've come from, you know, in Brixton, where I've come from, you know, people don't get opportunities like this. Mm -hmm. So the fact that I'm even living um, what I'm, I used to dream about, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's a massive, massive blessing for me. Mm -hmm. And what motivates you, Matt? Because I know you found out not too long ago, but it's still a massive fight. Would you say it's the biggest fight of your career? And, and what is motivating you on Saturday? Do you know what? Uh, I've said this to you openly before, and I'll say it openly again. I'm an Isaac Chamberlain fan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I have been. Um, before this and, and be after this but when it comes to Saturday it's beef mm. and a fight to fight to me mm. so as far as I'm concerned I'm in it for my family and to better my career so I can better my family life um, solely selfish reasons you know um, 
through here, ready to get on Saturday. And what do you think you've learned through your career? And I know you've been a bodybuilder. What do you think you've learned through previous journeys that can that can teach you on Saturday night? Because it's going to be a big fight for you. Do you know what this this whole boxing thing was 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 an accident? I explained that to you earlier off offline. Um, as much as I appreciate the opportunities that I've been given, I'm super grateful for the opportunities and the people I've got to fought. But I'm learning on the job, and I believe that I'm super grateful for the losses for the experiences that I've experienced, the wins that I've, I've taken. And I plan to use all of that experience um, to beat Isaac uh, tomorrow mm. and go on to, to hopefully beat more people afterwards. You know, but we have to take each fight as they come. You know, tomorrow's an, another day with another opponent and then we'll get back on track. Um, I've got a, a clear goal of where I want to be and we're just willing to continue that, that journey. What did you think of his last fight a couple of weeks ago? He beat my friend up, so I was kind of like, <laughs> all right then. Um, you know, it is, it is what it is, isn't it? Um, you know, we're, we're set to, to clash as well, Wooly mm -hmm. and I. But, um, you know, it was a good performance. Um, I saw some things, um, as as some of the may, people may have seen as well, mm -hmm. you know. Um, again, I'm not going to say too much, but I'm ready to bring it on Saturday. I know obviously I said earlier you took the fight on late notice. Mm -hmm. Are you that type of person? Are you willing to fight again before the year comes? And anybody anywhere. Mm -hmm. I don't care who you are. Anybody anywhere. I'm not saying I'm the best or the baddest man on the planet, mm -hmm. but as fighters I don't believe that we should be turning down opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, I don't respect fighters that turn, turn down opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, granted I appreciate certain individuals you have to have a little bit more time. I would have loved a little bit more time to fight someone like Isaac Champion, but I haven't been given that opportunity. But what I do also believe, I'm a strong believer in fate, and when, when the stars line and things line up correctly, it's my time to say yes. You know, that's where we are. And are you gonna, in your opinion, is it gonna be a similar performance to two weeks ago, or is your skill set improved? Is it gonna be different assets that you're gonna bring, bring um, to the table? Or? Hopefully it's gonna be a better performance. Because obviously the ring rust and a lot of things were in your mind mm -hmm. because you ain't boxed over 22 months. So obviously a lot of things are in your mind and stuff. But hopefully, you know, and we worked on some things that we were working on in the gym. Mm -hmm. And um, we were like, okay, trying to edit, you know, the small mm -hmm. little bits. So yeah, man, I just can't wait for tomorrow. And you said a better performance. It was still a very strong performance. What do you think you could have done better then? Because it was a round three knockout, is, you know. I know, but the thing is with me, I'm just, I'm a perfectionist. Mm -hmm. man. I'm just like, oh, yeah, I could have done that better. <laughs> Because I know how I am in the gym, mm -hmm. you know, I know how I work in the gym. I'm very obsessive with mm -hmm. my work. So any small thing, I'm just like, no, this can be better. This can be better. You can ask me. Yeah. I'm always <laughs> messaging him, sending him stuff about, you know, oh, my training. Oh, what do you think of this? Or how did I do this? You know, but everything comes in time, you know. Mm -hmm. And would you say you're the same bit of a perfectionist, like to work on every little thing? Yeah, I'd, I would say so. Mm -hmm. I'd say so. Um, look, nobody's perfect, mm -hmm. you know. Um, some of the some of the greatest weren't perfect, but you know, like I say, we're here to make the most of it, mm -hmm. and that's all we can do. Save each moment. Brilliant. Really appreciate your time, and that's a great way to end it. Can't wait for the fight tomorrow night after the main event, and the undercard is live on seconds out as well from 7 p.m. So tune into that, and uh, thank you. Can't wait. Good luck.